Have you ever wondered why pike fishing in autumn is so popular? As the leaves change their hues and the air turns crisp, many anglers eagerly anticipate the season of pike fishing. There's something truly special about this time of year, when the waterways come alive with the thrill of the chase and the promise of a bountiful catch. Pike fishing in autumn is an experience unlike any other, marked by the vibrant colors of the season and the challenge of luring in these elusive creatures. Now, let's talk about a technique that's loved by many, fishing for pike on a wobbler. This method is both an art and a science, involving a keen understanding of pike behavior and a mastery of the lure's movement. It's a dance of sorts, a game of cat and mouse where the angler and the fish are locked in a battle of wits. Stay tuned as we delve into the process of pike fishing in autumn on a wobbler. Before we dive into the process, it's essential to understand pike behavior in autumn. As autumn sets in, the pike, a master predator, undergoes significant changes in its behavior. The cooling water temperatures trigger a shift in the pike's feeding habits. This season, the pike's appetite flourishes, and it feeds more frequently compared to the lazy, languid summer months. This increased feeding activity is primarily due to the pike preparing for the long, food-scarce winter months that lie ahead. In autumn, pikes are not just eating more, they're also becoming more selective about their meals. They begin to target larger prey, favoring the high-energy yield that bigger meals provide. This preference for larger meals is one reason why the wobbler, a lure designed to mimic a distressed fish, becomes a popular choice among anglers during the season. Now let's talk about pike's preferred locations in autumn. As the water temperatures drop, pikes start to leave their summer haunts in the weedy shallows and move towards deeper waters. They're drawn to areas where food is abundant, and these are usually places where baitfish gather. These areas often include drop-offs, deep weed edges, and underwater structures like sunken trees or rocks. But here's an interesting twist. While pikes generally prefer deeper waters in autumn, they can also be found in shallow areas during the warmest part of the day. Why you ask? Well, pikes are ectothermic, meaning their body temperature is regulated by the surrounding environment. So when the water in the shallow areas warms up, it attracts bait fish. And where there's bait fish, there's pike. Understanding these behavioral changes in pike during autumn is key to successful fishing. It informs us of when, where, and how to fish, helping us choose the right lure and find the best fishing spots. Now that we know why pikes behave the way they do in autumn, let's move on to the fishing process. The first step in pike fishing in autumn on a wobbler is prepping the wobbler itself. Now, what is a wobbler you might ask? Simply put, a wobbler is a type of fishing lure that mimics the movement of a fish, attracting predatory fish like the pike. But not all wobblers are created equal, and the right choice can make all the difference when you're out on the water in autumn. So, how do you choose the right wobbler for pike fishing in autumn? Start by considering the size. Pikes are ambush predators, and in autumn, they're looking for a substantial meal to prepare for the winter months. Your wobbler should be approximately 4 to 6 inches long, to mimic the size of the bait fish that pikes typically prey on. Next, consider the color. Autumn calls for darker, more natural colors. Think browns, greens, and blacks, colors that mirror the environment and the prey. But don't be afraid to throw in a little flash or sparkle. A bit of shine can catch a pike's eye and draw it in. Now let's move on to preparing the wobbler for casting. Ensure the hooks on your wobbler are sharp. A dull hook won't do you any good when you're trying to reel in a big one. If needed, replace the hooks or use a hook sharpener to get them in top shape. But that's not all. You also need to consider the action of your wobbler. Action refers to the movement of the lure in the water. For autumn pike fishing, a slow to moderate action is best. This mimics the slower movement of fish in the colder water. Lastly, check the balance of your wobbler. It should swim straight and true. If it veers to the side, you may need to adjust the eyelet or replace the wobbler. And there you have it. With the right size, color, sharp hooks, the correct action and balance, your wobbler is prepped and ready to go. With the wobbler prepped and ready, we can now cast our line. Casting your line correctly is crucial in pike fishing. So, let's delve right into the heart of it. It all starts with a good cast. Imagine you're painting a rainbow in the sky with your wobbler. You're not just flinging it out there, but delivering it to the fish with finesse. The trick here is to make your cast smooth and fluid. Keep your wrist firm, and your arm should follow a straight path much like a pendulum. Remember, it's not about power, but precision. The aim is to land your wobbler exactly where the pike are likely to be lurking. Now once your wobbler hits the water, the real magic begins. 
This is the moment where it's not just about what you do, but how you do it. The retrieval process is key in making your wobbler come alive and enticing that pike to bite. Retrieval speed and technique can make all the difference in pike fishing. Pikes are ambush predators, they lie in wait for their prey. So your wobbler should mimic the movements of a real fish to catch their eye. Start with a slow and steady retrieve. Make your wobbler swim and dance in the water, resembling a wounded fish. This erratic movement can trigger the predatory instincts of a pike. But remember the water is colder in autumn and the pike are not as aggressive, so a slower retrieval can be more effective. And then mix it up a little. Add some variety to your retrieve. Maybe a quick jerk followed by a pause or a sudden acceleration. This unpredictability can often provoke a strike from a curious or territorial pike. Remember, patience is key. It's a game of cat and mouse, or rather angler and pike, but with every cast, with every retrieve, you're learning, adapting, and getting closer to understanding the pike's behavior. And there you have it. The art of casting and retrieval. It's not just about getting your wobbler out there, but making it move in a way that's irresistible to the pike. Once we've mastered casting and retrieval, we're on our way to a successful catch. Hooking and landing the pike is where the real excitement begins. Now, you've cast your line, and you're waiting for that telltale tug. Suddenly, there it is. This moment is where the adrenaline pumps. You've got a pike on the line, and it's time to bring it home. First, let's talk about hooking. You'll feel the pike's bite as a distinct pull. It's important not to jerk the rod immediately. Instead, give it a second. This allows the pike to take the wobbler into its mouth fully. Once you're sure the pike has a good grip, set the hook with a firm upward motion. Remember, a pike has a hard mouth so don't be shy about setting the hook. Now, you've got the pike hooked, and it's time for the fight. Pike are known for their aggressive behavior and will often leap out of the water or dive deep to get away. Keep your rod tip up and maintain tension on the line. Don't rush, let the pike tire itself out. This is a battle of patience. As the pike begins to tire you'll feel less resistance. This is your cue to start reeling it in. Keep a steady pace and remember, if the pike takes another run, let it. The key here is to keep the line tight but not too tight. Too much tension could snap the line or tear the hook from the pike's mouth. Finally, we come to the landing. Never pull a pike straight out of the water. This can injure the fish and potentially snap your line. Instead, use a landing net. Guide the pike into the net head first and then lift it from the water. When handling the pike always support its weight evenly. Never hold it vertically, as this can damage its internal organs. Unhook the pike quickly and gently then release it back into the water. Now you know the entire process of pike fishing in autumn on a wobbler. Enjoy the thrill of the fight, respect the fish and above all have fun. Now get out there and land yourself a magnificent pike. We've covered a lot today so let's quickly revisit the main points. We started with an introduction to the enthralling world of pike fishing in autumn, a season when the water's chill brings these toothy predators closer to the surface. We then delved into understanding pike behavior during this season, which is crucial to predicting their movements and finding the perfect fishing spot. Next, we moved on to the art of prepping the wobbler, a lure that perfectly mimics the movement of a distressed fish, drawing pike out from their hiding spots. We discussed the importance of casting and retrieval, a dance of sorts that requires patience and precision and can make all the difference between a successful catch or a missed opportunity. Finally, we went through the adrenaline pumping process of hooking and landing the pike, a test of strength, skill, and nerves. Remember, each step is as important as the rest. Thank you for tuning in. Now go out there and enjoy pike fishing in autumn on a wobbler.